Good afternoon. I want to take a couple of minutes today to wax eloquent about the month of September, the first month of spring, the month of new growth, of fresh beginnings, of the hint of warm weather. Summer fun is just around the corner. As Ogden Nash put it, spring has sprung, the grass has riz, I wonder where the birdies is. And spring is when the sap rises, and in suburban Australia that sometimes means the sap rises and goes out and mows the lawn. Mike Brady even wrote a song about September, that one day in September. He, of course, was talking about the grand final, but finals fever, of course, grips his town for the whole of September. And I realised on the flight back from Sydney last night how important this month of September has been in my life, both personally and professionally. In September, 25 years ago this week, a bloke named Scase took me to dinner at Glow Glows in Turak, bought a bottle of Grange Hermitage, offered me a truckload of money, and told me he was about to help make me the Walter Cronkite of Australia. And so in 1987, I left the microphone here at 3AW and went to the Seven Network, where the Hinch program was born. And that, of course, changed my life. Sadly, neither Scase nor Glow Glows are still with us. But I sure as hell am. In September 2005, I proposed to my darling wife, Chanel. In September 2010, I discovered, and I told you on air, that I had cancer and given only 12 months to live. September 2011, after a life-saving liver transplant, I was partway through five months of house arrest and couldn't take part in Grand Finals Week celebrations like the Variety Club lunch and the Grand Final breakfast. And now, September 2012. What did I say about this month being the month of new growth and fresh beginnings? Because, to be honest, it was very hard to come back to work this week after being sacked by 3AW. But I will remember it fondly, as of September, we had our last and our best Variety Bikeathon you gave a total of 706 bikes. I'll also now remember September 2012 as my new September morn, to use the song analogy again. It's funny. As I mentioned, I left 3AW 25 years ago to go to Channel 7. Well, I can tell you now, I'm doing it again. Today I can announce that the fat lady hasn't sung, isn't even near the stage. I'm going back to Channel 7. I'm going back as their national public affairs commentator. In a way, I'm going home. I'll still be talking about the things that concern you the same way as I have here at 3AW, but to a national audience. I'll still be the rebel with too many causes. I'll be appearing on Sunrise and on their top-rating public affairs program Sunday night and doing special reports for 7 News. And I'll be working with a hell of a team. That news and current affairs genius, Peter Meekin. Sunday night's Mark Llewellyn. He's X channel 9. And the new news director of 7, Simon Pristel. Until recently, he was the editor of the Herald Sun. As I said, a hell of a team, and my first appearance on the network will be on Sunrise on Monday. Now, I'm still here on 3AW for a few weeks yet. Obviously, I am sad to be leaving you. Because all up, I've spent more than 20 years behind this microphone. A lot of you have grown up and grown old with me. And from your emails and your letters and your tweets, I know a lot of you aren't happy with my departure. But keep in mind, it wasn't my decision. I will be as interested as you are to see the much vaunted new direction in which the station is going. I'm excited, though, about the new challenge. I have a lot of ideas for next year. I've got a new book coming out in November. That's called The Human Deadline, a story of life, death, hope, and house arrest. And speaking of that... My doctor told me last week that my health post-transplant is now so good I didn't go back for a checkup for six months. And he reduced my medication again to a couple of anti-rejection pills a day. And in his words, I've now got a Rolls-Royce liver. So I'm taking that Rolls-Royce organ to a Rolls-Royce network. I'll see you around the traps. As they say in vaudeville, thanks for the loan of the hall. And as I'll keep saying, thank you, mother, for the rabbits.